hey what's up youtubers um welcome again to my channel um in this video or well, actually this is the first video of the it service manager um concept application that i'll be building with laravel and um, today we're just going to be doing the design of the login form plus some validations now we're not going to do the authentication process as of yet that will come at a later stage uh, but today we're just going to do the markup and the validations now i already have a fresh laravel installation already set up here um, if you don't know how to install or set up laravel um, there's documentation online on the laravel website that you can check as to how you can go about doing that um, i already have a document here that i downloaded off uh, online um, basically you can uh, use the command prompt and uh, what you call it go into the directory as to where you want your laravel installation set up so you can run like these cut these kind of commands like composer global require laravel it'll install laravel and then you can just run that and um, it'll install laravel otherwise you can also use composer to just do the whole uh, process uh, using that particular command over there so but yeah i'm doing this under the assumption that you already know how to um, install laravel but if you don't uh, you can use those commands to do that okay so in any case before we start with the um, design i want to just uh, uh, in, uh, what you call it set up all of the resources that we're going to need um, to do the uh, our, to design this application so I already have some files uh, downloaded into my um, into a folder that whenever I, use, I need them, I just take them and copy them into my uh, my project. So for the time being, oh, the first thing I need to do is here within the public folder, I'm gonna create a CSS folder there, and then I'm gonna create another one, um, which is the JS folder. And then I'm gonna copy that proper dot min and app over there and i think also maybe i might just well, might as well copy jquery there um, let me just reveal this in explorer okay and then the other ones that i'm going to need is bootstrap and font awesome so i'm going to copy font awesome and copy it into the CSS folder. And I also need bootstrap. So I'm just gonna let these copy and finish up and then I'm gonna pause the video while they do that. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so I'm done copying all the files that I'm gonna need now before we begin um for those of you who who don't know or for those of you who do know but are wondering um as you know laravel comes with all kinds of features packed within it and um, if you know laravel well enough um, i'm pretty sure um, you can build an application within a week or so because there's so many things that laravel comes with that makes development super easy and um, for example there's all kinds of commands that you can run um, using the PHP artisan command. For example, um, if I were to say uh, PHP artisan, um, I think it's make auth, if I'm not mistaken, I think so. In any case, if I were to run this command, um, what this will do is generate some default scaffolding. So you will get a login form, a registration form. Um, you will also get um, a form where you can change your username or password, um, etc. And it will come with um, uh, and also a default home page or a dashboard page. Um, and so with that, I mean, with that one command alone, you would uh, uh, you would create all of that, and then it will just you wouldn't even need to create your own login form it will be just uh, done automatically for you so but i'm not going to do that within this particular uh, project i'm going to do my own one so i just wanted to explain that before we started um uh, we started with uh, with the development of the application all right so with that being said um first thing i want to do is here within the resource folder use uh, I'm gonna delete this file over here I'm not gonna need that so so 
So within here, I'm going to create a um, another blade file. So now I'm going to create a uh, separate CSS file for the login form itself. So here within the public folder, CSS folder, uh, I'm just going to allow, uh, what do you call it, create a login.css file. And then um, now with that being done, uh, the first thing I'll do is here within the login form, So um, let's first load up all of the uh, CSS files that we're going to need. Now I'm going to use a combination of Blade and Laravel to um, access our, our resources here. So for that, what I'll do is I'll say, I'll add a function here called asset. Then within there, I'll say CSS. And then the first one I'm going to load up is Bootstrap. And then I'm going to practically do the same thing with the login file. Okay, so first thing I'll do um, is create a wrapper for all the elements that we're going to put within our login form. So let's say end of And I'm going to just do some basic styling there. So I'm going to say, um, Margin, I mean, the, you know, the margin is going to be uh, height is going to be one hundred viewports, and then for the display. I'll say uh, flex. Then I want the form to be aligned to the center of the page itself. So I'll say align buttons center and justify content center. Okay, that's it for the body styling. So now within here, I'm going to also use a combination of bootstrap classes and some of my own classes. So for now, I want this um, this particular div to span about 45 columns. So for now, I'll say uh, let me just say four columns for now. Right. So I'm gonna create another div, or oh, actually just another section of So now I'm just going to leave that comment as it is. Um, I'll explain this a bit later. Right, so for now I'll say I'm going to add another 
element here which is a which is a card By the way, this is a bootstrap card, by the way, I mean a bootstrap class, which is going to give us a, uh, uh, a card. I'll show you just now what it's going to do. Okay, so before we continue, let's just uh, see how it currently looks uh, within our browser. So for us to be able to see that there's a couple of uh, Laravel commands that I need to set up. So for example, the first thing I need to do is create a, a, a controller. So I'm gonna say PHP Artisan uh, make controller. And then I'm gonna call this authentication controller. Authentication control. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. There's a spelling error there. All right. So this is now created um, a, a controller within our our app directory over there our app http and then controllers so that's our controller over there all right so now before i create the, the method that we're going to need to show our login form um here within the uh, where's the routes folder here within the web um by default what this will do is uh, return the um, the welcome page but since we deleted that we need to comment that out so now i'm just going to create a uh, a route for our login form so say get i'm also going to name it within here I'll say login all right so we're basically saying that once you see this particular route uh, login uh, check within this authentication controller for this method called get login and then that's how Laravel will know that um, there's a method within here that's going to return a specific view. So I'll say our public get login. And then I'll say return. And then I'll just say login. So now because our login form is sitting within the root folder called resources, this method knows that it needs to check within this root um, uh, resources folder for uh, uh, for the, the, the login um, blade file. And that's all we need to do in order for us to get our uh, login form. Let me just say get all right, so let me see. So we got our method, uh, got our route over here. And um, we got everything. So now I'm going to run another command to um, start up our server. And I'll say PHP. Okay. 
then you can then now check this within our browser. Let's see. You log in, not found. Okay, let me just check now. So it is login.play.php. You mean not found? Let's log in. Authentication. Let me just be sure if I. Turn view log in. Okay, I think I made a mistake. It was supposed to be within the views folder. Apologies for that. Let me just uh, refresh here. Okay, all right. So yeah, apologies for that, guys. Um, the the file needs to be within resources, then views, and then it'll find it within that root folder. Um, okay. So if you see now our 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 dev over there, even though the page is a bit, let me just um give the body the a grayish color there. Um, background color will be. Um, Okay, so this will give it a grayish color so okay hopefully you can see that but that's our div over there uh, our, our div so we got that we are able to render our view so now the other thing I need to do is um, within here I'll say uh, let me just give this an h6 now I want to set up some custom default stylings here for our fonts so the main one I'll say um, for any element that has the class of main font, what it will do is it will use um, font family will be uh, and then um, it's gonna be text transform. It's gonna be with in uppercase and then the color. Um, I'm going to change that a bit. I'm going to make it that. All right, and then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to say secondary font. Sorry. I'll say I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but difference is that uh, it's gonna be a different um, a different font. It's gonna be comfort. So if you're wondering why on your side this uh, these fonts are not working or whatnot, I downloaded these files. I mean these fonts from uh, Google uh, from Google and then installed them on my computer. So. For you, it might not work unless if you have them installed already. But in any case, yeah, that's it. So now, what I want to do is here within the um, within the card body, I'm gonna say it service, and then I'm gonna give it that class that we just uh, created. Then also dot main. Sorry, also main font. Okay, let's check it out. All right, there we have it there. I might need to make it a little bit bigger, but I don't have to, but so let's do this. Um, and for the second one, I'm gonna say H3. Same thing, I'm gonna give it the same class. I'm gonna say main font.
right, let's see now. Okay. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna give this a different color. So, well, actually let's leave it for now. Um, let's just continue with the form elements. For now, I'll just keep this as it is. So now, uh, the other thing I need to do is um, So I want to create a group. So I'll say form group. So by the way, this is a bootstrap class. Uh, so it's just going to group whatever elements they put within here. Um, uh, nicely and so forth. So, first one I'll do is label. I'll say username. And then, I'm going to give it a class of second, secondary font. So, remember, this is um, our custom. Uh, CSS class here, uh, which is going to give it that particular font family, and same thing with the other one. So we'll do that, and then I'll say label. I mean import, and then I'll say um, control. And I form control is a Bootstrap class, just for those of you who don't know. And then the name will be uh it's email email let me change that from username to email as well okay and then what I'll do is just copy that And then this time we'll say um, password. Let me just change that to a small p and then change that to password as well. All right, so let's check it out. Okay. Let me just put some spacing between. Actually, let me just put a horizontal line. So I'll say HR, and then, okay. Um, all right, so I don't know if you can see that line, but it's there. All right, so we have our email and password, right? And we need our login button there. So I'll say, do the same thing, I'll copy that. Now, I could do a footer here where I say something like, Do a card photo, which is a bootstrap class, and then put the button within here. So I can do something like uh, and say uh, login. Uh, let me give it a bootstrap class, which is going to be uh, tn tn seven tn dark sorry dark. Right, so um, let's just see how it looks. Uh, let me move. Let me remove some padding here. So I'm gonna just do that again. I'm gonna use Bootstrap for that. I'm gonna say zero. Uh, 
hold on. Is it to Px zero? Hold on. Oh, I know what my mistake was. So this is supposed to be outside of the card body, not within the card body. So it's supposed to be there. And if I refresh. Alright, so there you have it. So I don't know, does this look a little better than what I had originally designed? I don't know. But um, that's our login form. Um, I have to move. And just put it right underneath. Yeah. Right. card photo okay um, what should I say sign in that looks fine don't you think and then I just want to give it a bit of a shadow so I'll also use a bootstrap class for that and I'll just say shadow and then yes sir that'll give it a light and small shadow Okay, so we have our form, please, and the email and password. So now, uh, since we have this done, um, uh, email and password. Uh, what I want to do is let me just keep that compact. You know what? That's fine. All right. So here the action will be. I'm gonna again use the combination of blade and Laravel. So I'll say routes, and then I'll say login. So now what this is gonna do is when you use this function routes, it checks for. Um, it checks for the for this particular name here. Now you could use this um, over here where you do something like, um, um, what do you call it, something like this. And it will practically do the exact same thing. When it sees this particular route, it knows that it needs to check within this authentication controller for that method. But I'm just going to use uh, this, this method over here because, I don't know, it just seems a little neater. So now what I need to do is say method and then post. Okay, so now let's just do the validation for our form over here. So within the authentication controller, uh, all we need to do is create another method here. We'll say public, and then I'll say function, and this time I'll just say login. Right. Uh, I'll just say authentication. Oh, user. Right. Get to do that. All right. So, uh, what we need to do is here within the web dot php file we need to create another route so this time we'll just say that and then we're going to change that method from get to post and then it's going to send uh, it's going to post to the same route the only difference is that we need to rename that um, i'll just say auth dot login and then this time around it's going to be 
login method, which is uh, uh, this method over here, right? So, oh yeah, my apologies. This is the one, this is the named route we need, auth.login, not, uh, uh, not this one. This one returns the, um, uh, the, the login form. So this is the route that we need. Uh, I mean, sorry, the uh, the name route that we need for our for our authentication. So within our authentication controller, we need to call another method here, which is request, and then I'll just say request. And then I'm gonna use um, a default uh, Laravel, uh, what you call it, methods that come already configured where you can use them to validate certain uh, form fields. So what I'll do is let's do this validate. And then the first parameter I need to set up within there is the request, which is uh, this one over here. And then I have to set up an array. So within the array, we need to call the email. So now the, and then we will then say um, uh, required. And then it also has to be an email. All right, so this, um, this particular, um, uh, what you call it, parameter here that says email, it needs to be the same as what you did, um, what you named your input field over here. All right, so I'm gonna also need the password. All right, and then I'll say, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll say required. And that's it. So basically that's all you need in terms of validating your, your input fields. There's other validations that you could add on to here, but for the only thing we need now is for the user to enter a password, I mean an email and a password. So now how we display these, uh, if there are any errors, how we display them is, um, I'll create a div over here. So I'm gonna use again, some combination of blade and Laravel. So I'll say if, um, if I'll say if errors, uh, I think it's greater than zero if I'm not mistaken, or let me just do this. If there are any errors, what I'll do is I'll create a div here. So I'll say alerts, which is a bootstrap class again. Alert danger. And then within here, I'll say um, for each say um let me put them with an li tag then i'll say um wait hold on um actually I'm mistaken. I think I need to do something like um, then I'll say errors off. I hope I'm doing the right thing, but yeah. Right, so that will put that within a div, um, an alert box, and then um, display all the errors that need to be displayed. Right, and then here what I can do is I'm gonna use a ternary operator to uh, 
uh, to display whatever errors that are relating to whichever form field. So what I'll do is if errors has email. So basically, okay, I'll explain after I'm done here. Let me just do it quickly. And then I'll say is invalid. And then otherwise print nothing. All right, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm checking if there's an error regarding the email field. If there is, uh, set to this particular class over here, which is a bootstrap class, which is supposed to give this particular, um, what you call it, form field, a reddish border. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the password as well. All right, so, um, so if there is an error regarding the email, uh, he set up that class and otherwise set up, no, uh, I mean, set up nothing. And then let me copy that. And change that to password. All right, that should be fine. I think I've done everything that I needed to do correctly. But in any case, let's just see. So we are posting to the auth, what you call it, um, the auth uh, authenticate controller uh, login method. And then it will come within, uh, within this method over here, check for these fields. And then if there are errors, it will display them on the page. So hopefully I did everything correct. So let's just test it now. Okay, expect one parameter to be string array, uh, login.blade, where's that? All right, so it looks like I did do something wrong. Um, where's that again? pretty sure this is what the this is where the error is let me just comment that out and see what happens okay so it looks like I did something wrong but if I do this for example if I click on login oh apologies I forgot to actually add the CSR, CSRF token so I need to add a token within here so I'll just say CSRF Right. Um, let me go back again and then click on that. Okay. So as you can see, it's giving it a reddish border. So the one thing I need to do is check and see how I can display these errors over here. Okay. Um, Okay, um, errors, I think it's, I think I need to first count the errors and then say zero. And then let me do this. So it's for each. So li, I'm gonna give that a class of oh no, let me leave that out. And then here is where I will display the errors. Oh wait. Say errors or oh. 
right, let me just double check and see if that's correct. Okay. Okay. All right, there it is. So I made a mistake earlier on. It was supposed to be for each error, so that it gets all the errors that are um, that are listed here within the uh, validate method. Um, I needed to get all of them and then display them here within an li tag. So that is that's how you can uh, validate form data with um, with uh, with Laravel. Um, okay, I think the video is long enough as it is at the moment. So I think I'm gonna stop it here. Um, like I said earlier on, we're not gonna do authentication as of yet. Um, the, the we'll do we'll get to do that a bit later on. But I just wanted to start off by doing the design of the login form and also validating the um, the form data. So uh, that's all we needed today. Um, even if we let's say I were to add like um, an email, as you can see, it will check all the errors and then if there's only one field that's missing, it will only validate against that. Um, the other thing I need to add here is one last method. So we in the login, so that we don't lose whatever the whatever we had within our form field. I'll say value, and then again we can use a, a Laravel method where it retains whatever. Um, so with uh, hold on, hold. Sorry about that. So with this, we can retain whatever was input into the field originally. So for example, if I say login, at least we get to keep the email that was there. So so yeah, that's uh, that's what that was the last one last thing that I needed to do there. So yeah, I think that's it for the video, guys. Um, apologies, it took long again, but um, I mean, what else can we do? But uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, we will revisit the login page once, once we start doing the authentication process. Maybe we might change a couple of things like the color of this uh, text over here. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, for those of you who haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe if you've liked what you've seen so far. And uh, I'll see you guys within the next video. Cheers for now.